The Department of Justice did nothing with it. And do you want to know why? It's because they're protecting Joe Biden. Up, you all. Welcome back. I'm Van. We are all the LFR family. Thank you so much for clicking play. Hopefully you click that like button as well. You all have been amazing. And thank you again to everyone who have been leaving. Super thanks too. You guys have been going above and beyond and it just means a lot to me. It means a lot when you don't click super things or you just comment when you just um, hit the like button. If you watch two minutes of the video, you watch eight minutes. It means the world to me. So thank you guys. All right. So we've checked out a video of Marjorie Taylor already. Marjorie Taylor Green, where she was giving people the business. She was giving y'all the rundown on people who she feel like should be arrested and impeached. And she she gave some great facts to back them up. And if you have not seen that video that I've done on this, make sure you go see it, guys. All right. I'll make sure that that link is below as well. All right. But she, right in this video right here, apparently she is talking. Um, she reacts to the FBI director showing Biden documents to James Comer. So apparently some new information has come out and is showing that when she stood up for it first, where she was talking about he should be indicted. Well, the facts are starting to pour in. As you may have seen on the news, the reports have come out and it turns out that everything we have been saying is true. Today, FBI Director Christopher Wray brought the FD 1023 form that he has first didn't want to admit existed, but he brought it today here over to Congress to our oversight committee and showed the 1023 form to James Comer and to uh, Congressman Raskin. Now, that form that um, that the FBI director brought in, did he bring it in because he just now, they, they forced him, they pretty much forced his hand. They said, you have to bring it in. But he, they pretty much made him do it. Uh, they gave him a subpoena or something like that. If I'm, if I'm lying, I'm flying. It's all good. And there were attorneys in the room. Here's what everyone needs to understand. Here's the story. There's two people you need to know about. There's a whistleblower and there is an informant. Now, years ago, an informant brought forward the information, and that's his job. An informant br brings information to our government because it's critical to the national security of the United States. This informant brought the information, they filled out the 1023 form, and they told us that our president, Joe Biden, when he was vice president of the United States, that he was taking millions of dollars in exchange for foreign policy decisions. Y'all hear that, right? The form actually says that President Joe Biden was taking millions of dollars for some dirty work. Huh? I just want to make sure y'all are following along. We're going to talk about this a little later. This is pay to play. This is abuse of power. Oh, I apologize too, guys. If I if I'm up here smiling like I'm happy about it, I'm actually not happy about it. it this this information actually disgusts me. I'm just smiling because it's juicy information that's coming out, and I'm also smiling because I'm a naturally goofy individual. That's it. That's it. I don't think any of this is funny. Okay. Decisions. This is pay to play. This is abuse of power. This is an impeachable offense. So this informant did the right thing. This is what he is paid to do. I want you to understand our FBI director, our FBI did nothing with it. The Department of Justice did nothing with it. And do you want to know why? It's because they're protecting Joe Biden. Christopher Ray and Merrick Garland, Christopher Ray, our FBI director, Merrick Garland, the U.S. Attorney General for the United States, they are protecting their boss. They are covering up his crimes. That's unfortunate. That is, I, I completely missed that. If she would not have said that. Wow. They dirty, man. They just protect whoever their boss is. They had the information, but the only reason why we're finally putting that information out there or doing something with it is because we give a crap. FBI, like, no, that's our boss. We, look, we got orders to, to shut it up. Okay, y'all subpoenaed us. Or y'all said we'll get a contempt of, of court if we don't turn it in. We have to. It's out of our hands. But if y'all didn't do that, we would have held on to it. Nobody would have heard anything. Ain't that the same thing that happened on Twitter? Hmm? Ain't it though? Because if that information about his son would have gotten out, he might not be president. I'm just saying. And his family's crimes because there's a lot more to this. Now we've had a brave whistleblower come forward through Senator Grassley and tell us this information. We already know what it is. We already know it's true. And now today, 
It is confirmed because Chairman Jamie Comer and Congressman Raskin both saw the form, saw the information. Here's the issue. We're going to have to hold Christopher Wray in contempt of Congress because he refuses to hand over the form. This form is unclassified. He has no reason to not hand it over. The names are redacted, protecting everyone's uh, security. What is the use of an informant if you do not use the information that they give the government? This is absurd. This is ridiculous. They're beating you to it is what they're doing. That's the point of the informant. The point of the informant is to beat. They're like, go out there and if you're going to find something, you give it to us. We'll take care of it. That happened on all the movies. Come on. Yeah, I watch movies. I watch TV shows all the time. A good criminal series, a good detective series. Please, me and my wife, we sitting on the couch. We got our drink a drink. You know what I mean? We got something to eat. We just enjoying life watching these dang on detective shows. And that's exactly what happened. The FBI just like, look, you beat them to it. The other side to it. The people who are enemies of the president who want to bring down the president. Yeah, give us that right there. We'll, no, we'll do something about it. <laughs> they put that joint underneath the sofa. Make sure you sit on it and don't leave that couch. Like they got you talking. You ever heard when Trump was talking about the fat guy in the basement who just plays games all day? They put that bad boy right underneath him and said, just sit there and play your games. Don't get up because this stuff incriminates the sitting president. All right. And our job is to protect him. Is that the FBI's job to protect the government? I mean, to protect the president or to protect us? Who's most important here? The citizens or the president of the citizens? That's the real question. If you have an answer to that. What are we going to do? We have two sides here. We have people that are hiding the truth and protecting Joe Biden. And then we have the other side, that's us trying to provide the truth to the American people. And here's the real issue. Do you know the real problem? We are now a country involved in a war in Ukraine. And this is the country where all these problems exist. This is where the corruption began. This is where it all starts and it all stems from. And the Biden family expanded it to many other countries. I want America to know the truth and Christopher Ray needs to do the right thing. He needs to hand over the 1023 form. Hand it over, bro. Hand it over. Y'all think anything going to come from the information that, that once he hands it, hands it over and the truth is out there, you think anything's going to happen? <laughs> All of this is drama, man. It's like MASH. No, this is like a dynasty. This is like dynasty. <laughs> dynasty. That's a real old one. I probably just told my age on a little bit more of them. But yeah, man, that's this is wild. I want to hear more about this. If y'all have any more information about it, please make sure y'all forward it this way.